Shoot Curious. A very British game shoot explained how to dress. What is a beater? What is a sporting bird? If you have been invited and have no clue, then this is for you. No. Nah. So we come on to the subject of tipping. It's a much discussed subject, how much, how little, when, how, etc. I think the most important thing to remember is that you are actually tipping to thank the keeper for a day's shooting. But bear in mind, it's not just the fact that he pitched up at half past eight that morning and organized a team of beaters to put birds over guns. Your day, the day on which you have shot, probably was planned from the beginning of February onwards because that's when the keeper's work starts for the coming season. So many weeks and months of hard work, very early mornings, a lot of graft, repairing, preparing, release pens, rearing poults, feeding, keeping vermin under control, have led to the culmination, which is this day that you have been on. So you are actually thanking the keeper and the beaters for the work that has been done so that you can do the pitching up at half past eight in the morning or quarter to nine and have a wonderful day's shooting. Remember also, it's not about the day that you have had. You might have drawn a peg on which, as you went round the shoot, you didn't get much shooting. That's not the keeper's fault. It's just the way it happens sometimes. You may have not shot very well yourself. That's nobody else's fault but your own. So when you're tipping, you are tipping to thank the keeper and to express your appreciation for the hard work that he has done. So don't skimp and don't be mean. So how much do you tip? The fact is there is no hard and fast rule. A tip, like anything, should reflect your appreciation. If you're in doubt, the safest thing is to ask the shoot owner or the shoot captain. And if you can't speak to them, then ask one of the other guns who appears to be more au fait with the situation. There is a famous case, no names, no pack drill, where the gun gave the keeper five pounds as a tip, and the keeper gave it straight back to him saying, thank you very much, sir, but I think you need this more than I do. A great story, much mirth amongst the other guns, but heaps and heaps of embarrassment on the gun in question. When it comes to the actual tipping process itself, it's generally done by way of a handshake and a verbal expression of thanks. And the handshake is uh, uh, specific to shooting. You fold the money in the palm of your hand and you shake the keeper's hand as you say thank you. The money then passes from one to the other almost seamlessly and there is no embarrassment, but the gesture is made. As far as the actual action of tipping is concerned, it's not a complicated thing to do, but you might wish to just practice beforehand uh, with friend, wife, colleague, just so that you don't find yourself with the notes flying out of your hand and chasing down the drive after an errant fiver, well, tenner, <laughs> twenty, uh, uh, and avoid embarrassment that way. No. Nah.